Let's take a look at setting up local network rendering on both PCs and Macs, and even pair your Mac to your PC to leverage as much compute as you can locally. Network rendering is available for all Octane Studio Plus users, with over 10 render node licenses and no GPU limits per machine, giving you access to near unconstrained local GPU rendering power. However, free Octane Prime and Octane X accounts will not have access to network rendering, with a maximum of one GPU for rendering. You can subscribe to Octane Studio Plus anytime with monthly or annual subscriptions to gain access to network rendering. To install, head over to otoy.com. Click on the Downloads tab and over to Applications. If you scroll down, you'll find the Octane Network Render Node installers for all supported operating systems. If you're looking for a previous version, those will be found here. In this case, I'll install the 2025.2 Render Node that corresponds exactly to the 2025.2 Octane Standalone and Octane C4D versions. The versioning has to remain the exact same, and any mismatched node or master Octane version can throw off the connectivity. Now that it's installed, we have a few more steps before we're up and running. And I'll hop over to my Mac to demonstrate how the connection works. If we're in Cinema 4D or other DCCs, the network rendering can be accessed through the Live Viewer under the Option tab. I already have it enabled here, and that doesn't matter yet because we're not linked and connected. But this toggle will allow you to enable and disable quickly. Once you click on Settings, Octane will open up a new dialog. That's exactly the same for all versions, including standalone. Here you'll see the Daemon Network port, which is important. And I usually just leave this as default. This will be necessary to remember later on for the nodes. You can see I have an active node listed, but with an error. That's telling me the node version's mismatch, and it's running 2025.2.1 and not 2025.2. So I need to hop over to my Windows machine and reconfig. We just need to close the active running daemon for that node, and hop over to the correct version which is already installed from earlier, so let's take a look at that process. Once you have the node installed from Otoy's site, the setup requires two simple command line processes the install and the execution. To install, navigate to your applications where you've installed the node already, and run the install daemon bat. This will run the install process and command line, and it'll ask you a few questions to get set up. Which port should the service listen to? Default 48000. If you recall earlier in the settings, we had this default set, so it's fine to keep this and just type 48000. Then it'll ask which GPUs to use. For me, I have a single 3090, so it's simple. I'll say all. And the next questions, you can customize to your liking, out of core memory usage, yes and no, and the amount. After that, you're all set, and we move into the last step, which is much easier. We just need to run the run installed daemon.bat. This will fire up the actual node that's sending and receiving information over to the listed network port to your main machine. Now if we jump back to our Mac, we'll see the node is ready. And unless you change versioning back and forth from here on, all you need to do is run that run bat file. If you do switch to other Octane versions, you'll need to do the reinstall process each time. That way it resets the port for the correct version. So now I'll run the same process through my 4080 laptop in the background so I can use them both for network rendering. And once that's complete, you'll see them both pop up and they're both active and ready to go. This will save tons of time locally rendering and using the compute from all three machines. So let's hop over to standalone and look at the same process. In the Preferences tab, you'll find the network rendering settings. And once we hit Enable, we'll see our nodes pop up. And then we hit OK and we're ready to go. It's that simple each time from here once we're rolling. With smaller quick scenes that render super fast, you won't really see as much of a benefit. But with larger, more complex scenes, this can save minutes or even hours per frame or job. In this case, with the little Shirley Temple render, with glass and ice and liquid and bubbles and more, the network rendering saves nearly 10 minutes on the render time. That's huge savings. Whereas a small particle scene from earlier only saved a few seconds per frame. And that's it. Network rendering is quick and efficient and allows you to use your equipment wisely and continue cranking out more awesome work. Download and install the Network Rendering Node app today and set up your own network rendering environment.